So today we're actually looking at software, specifically MSI Afterburner and Rivatuner Statistics Server, which both are installed through the MSI Afterburner installer. And I will leave a link to that in the description down below. Basically, when you're installing MSI Afterburner, it will ask you if you want to install Rivatuner at the same time. The answer to that should be yes, because that's going to enable us to take a look at on the fly current FPSs, uh, as well as a lot of other statistics that you can see on the on screen display over here in the heaven benchmark that's running but also more importantly for those of you that like to benchmark for fun or maybe you have your own youtube channel and you want to benchmark games it'll give you your average fps your 1% lows and 0.1% lows and it also allows you to use this tool to benchmark of specific periods of time and in my mind it's just a lot simpler once it's all set up to use then fraps because with fraps to get those 1% 0.1% lows then you have to use a utility like fraps in addition, Fraps is not, uh, at least last I knew, was not being currently developed. It had been in the same state for a long period of time with no updates. So in my mind, MSI Afterburner is a better utility uh, right now for using, uh, for getting those benchmarks. So let's go ahead and hop in and show you just how to get all of this set up. So the first thing you're going to want to do when you're thinking about benchmarking with MSI Afterburner is picking what statistics you actually want to use to benchmark. So up here we have a lot of different statistics being shown and most of them are just sort of for my information like the GPU temperature usage, core clock, memory usage on the GPU, then you have some CPU statistics, you have the system RAM statistics, but for gaming benchmarks we're really mostly interested in just the frame rates. So on the far left here the largest number is the current frame rate that's also represented by the graph. Then you have your average frame rate for the entire session, your 1% and 0.1% lows. So to get all that set up, you need to first go into MSI Afterburner and go into the gearbox here. And you're going to want to click on the monitoring tab and make sure that everything you're going to want to monitor at any time is checked. But then if you want to uh, have it show up on the on-screen display, you need to click on whichever statistic you're looking at and make sure the show in on-screen display uh, checkbox is checked. Now, if you want to have something shown by graph, for example, my current frame rate, you want to make sure that this uh, drop down menu, instead of set to just text, you either have it set to graph, or in my case, I'm using combo where it gives me the number and the graph. So once you have everything selected that you want on your on screen display, you just click OK, it will apply all those. The next thing you'll want to do is head over to the on screen display tab and just set a toggle short key. In my case, it's Control Alt F12. And what that allows you to do is mid game maybe you don't actually need to see your statistics all the time you just want to see them some of the time you can toggle the on-screen display on and off with that hotkey in my case again control all f12 seems to work pretty well and then you can see uh, those statistics at any given time now to get your average one percent and 0.1 percent lows working you'll need to actually open up rivatuner which when you start msi afterburner typically it starts rivatuner down in your uh, system tray down below so you have to pull that open and then make sure you uh, have the show on screen display uh, checked here to on because if you turn it off obviously your on screen display just goes away so want to make sure that that setting is on now for most of you when you first set up your average one percent lows and 0.1 percent low frame rates to display in the on screen display which you'll notice here if i go down the, to the bottom of the list those are all both checked and supposed to be in the on-screen display most of you will not see those statistics and that might be baffling to you because msi afterburner doesn't tell you why they're not showing up so for that you actually have to go into the uh, blue setup menu here for rivatuner and the key check box here is enable benchmark mode which by default is off you're going to want that enabled once you enable it and click ok you should see those statistics pop up and start to track your current session not only that but if you go back to msi afterburner you'll notice that it is in fact starting to chart those statistics which previously it was not now the last thing you're going to have to do to actually benchmark things because again this is charting the entire session so from the menus in the game which are probably not going to want to be benchmarking to maybe any splash screens anything like that it's charting for the averages 1% and 0.1% lows which will in fact skew your numbers if you're using it for a little bit more of a scientific uh, method of benchmarking so what you're going to want to do is go back to MSI Afterburner go back into the menu now and you're going to go to the benchmark tab and you're going to set up hotkeys to begin recording a benchmark and end recording so control shift f11 and control shift f12 are my hotkeys so when you do that then 
you can be just running your game and then hit that control shift in my case f11 you'll notice that it says briefly an afterburner over here that it began recording and then when you're done all you got to do is hit control shift in my case f12 it tells me the end fps recording over here and then when you hop back over to the benchmark tab you can just click that view button and there's the benchmarks and I've run a couple of these now so we have the heaven.exe so heaven benchmark here tells us our average minimum maximum 1% and 0.1% lows and those are the numbers that you're likely going to be using to sort of analyze your gameplay are you getting the performance you want do you need to tweak settings more great great tool to fine-tune your gaming experience uh, for PC gaming because there are so many different hardware configurations and you may be looking for that solid 60 FPS and you may be hitting an average of 60 FPS but maybe your 1% lows are just really really low and you want to bring those up this is a great tool for being able to see that in a statistical format instead of just seeing maybe stutters on the screen and sort of guessing haphazardly what settings you want to improve this will also give you the numbers if you're a YouTuber or just trying to share statistics with other gamers this will give you the numbers that really can uh, tell other people what type of gaming experience you are getting and uh, it's as simple as that to set up really not a complicated process I just wish that one enable benchmark mode in Rivatuner I wish that was on by default but everything else is really easy to set up once you know where to go to set it up so if you use MSI Afterburner for benchmarking or maybe just for your own uh, knowledge in game let me know in the comments down below and exactly what numbers you're looking at are you just looking at frame rates maybe you're looking at GPU CPU usage all those things I'm curious what everyone uses MSI afterburner to take a look at and of course if you like this video give it a like share subscribe comment all those things are very helpful you can follow the channel uh, on Instagram and on Twitter at Hoosier hardware they're the same tag for your convenience and as always I'll let YouTube queue up a few more videos around uh, the screen from my channel for you to watch I'm Shane with Hoosier Hardware, and I'll see you guys in the next video.